hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel yes this is mel and shane shane is right here um so guys so today i want to give you guys a wedding series so i'm introducing a wedding series for you guys so today we will be doing on episode one diy wedding invitations yes we are making our own because it's covid and we don't have anybody to send invitations to really we just do it virtual you know everything is virtual but we decided to do a few to send to families or friends close by so stay tuned for the rest of the video you'll be seeing what i'm doing and you'll get some ideas so keep watching <laughs> So today we're working on our invitations again. So we have some little cuties right here that are already done. And we are about to get some more work in. So I'll show you step by step how to create this unique, beautiful, simple invitation. Unfortunately, I didn't get to record the process of making it on my phone but guys all of this was made and created on my phone in adobe spark post i believe so i will be probably in placing the app on the screen for you guys so that you can actually see it and do it for yourself it can be for a uh, invitation for your wedding baby shower all of that only thing you need to do is just go ahead, make those really quick and simple and print them babies and get to work. So, let's do this. So, this is the first card. And then we have the RSVP. So, I was doing this last week, guys. So, I might be a little bit slow with how I'm doing it now because I kind of have to refresh in my memory but first we're going to stick the RSVP card between this envelope it's just to give it a cute touch right so we're going to need a two-sided tape which we already have and just so that we can secure secure this card in place we're just gonna like fold it like so and place it like right here like this perfect then you take this card and you place it right here and you want to press that down so that it is straight should be straight and it's in place this is really just to ensure that it doesn't move and if you do it just like this close it then we're gonna place it here see cuteness overload all right so now we're gonna need our white ribbon i got these from michael's and they were like probably three dollars so what we want to do is place it around this so you're gonna cut it um at the length that you want it so for me i want to use like this much so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it cut it cut it all right so now we need to secure this around it like so and we're going to use a two-sided tape to do all of that work so you see the details in the back and the front so what i did previously was i used a two-sided tape again and I place it, I believe, on top of here. 
And then this has to be firmly down right here on the floor and you want to secure it. So you put it in the center. So this, the purpose of the two-sided tape on this part of the envelope is to secure your um, ribbon. Okay, so it's in place. All we gotta do is flip this card over and work from behind. So I'm gonna use, the two-sided tape is gonna be very um, important in this process. So put it like so, so that when we take, pull the ribbon around, it's actually secured in place again. So like so, see, it's not moving. Now we're gonna use another two-sided tape and we're gonna put it right here just to secure this piece firmly and then put this other piece around perfect so now we have this piece piece like that all right so now what we're gonna do is add another layer of card just to make it really cute and we're doing this theme is oceanic and rustic with a little ivory and all of that so again you measure your string and you want to double wrap it twice so you want it to go around the card twice so you're gonna need this much I believe for mine I'll be, need this much so what I do is I put it from behind then I make sure it's even then I create this illusion like it's wrapped twice so all we need to do is this so don't mind the card moving at the moment you can fix that in the end all right so what I'm gonna do is just flip this over and you don't want to make it too tight because then the card will have this will be pushing upwards so what I'm going to do again with my two-sided tape, or you could use a regular tape and secure this part, but I'm just going to go over it with a regular tape so that it stays down. And don't worry if your card is too long, you can always make a cute little bow in the back for detail and then you clip it. Mine was just a perfect size, so I didn't need to make a knot. All right, so there you have it so far. This is what it's looking like. And it's really simple and cute. You don't want too much, um, too much going on with your card. So what I'm gonna do is secure my two-sided tape just to like cover the, the other part that is sticky. I'm gonna do that, so we'll see. Okay guys, so now we're gonna use our regular scotch tape to... Oh, you bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me just stick my flowers back in well quick. Oh, okay. I'm back, I'm back. Okay, so we're gonna use our regular scotch tape to just cover the raw edges of our double-sided tape and this is really just to ensure that the part that is still sticky on the double-sided tape is not sticking to the envelope when we put the card in all right so almost there there we go all right so Clear tape really do the work not so messy so everything is intact uh, this is what's the what the card is looking like right now so I'm gonna go ahead and add the finishing touch and name tag for the person who will be receiving this card so I just do a little something like this 
and all of these stuff we got from Michaels. They're pretty inexpensive and perfect for your DIY project. So I'm just gonna clip this right here. Perfect. So as of right now, this is the card. and you put the name inside who it belongs to you can also go ahead and write the name on the back of the card just for you know neatness you don't want to put it on the front this envelope is a little messy so you don't want to like put it on the front oh i think this, is, this belongs to someone yeah so we're just gonna use the back as the part that we put the name all right, so the next step now is to put your invitation in. Listen, we are doing a good job. So I would probably put it in this, this way. And you can rotate it for your to your liking. So you want when a person opens the card, the first thing they'll see is your name so yeah let's get this in i believe we're in and you just tuck this part in like so and you're good to go so guys we go we can go ahead and seal it and I have this cute little idea that I got and I bought these little stickers from Michael's. You can just peel it like so. And on the back, you just put it right here. Let me spin it a little bit. Can you see that? Beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little extraness to this card. I didn't do it with the other one, but this is just for um, example. We could just go ahead and put another ribbon around this one. So let's see how that works. And you have two options when you're doing that. You could just put this card around it again for complementary purposes or you could just go and blend in your invitation with a card like <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learned something about diy from mel and shane shane it was a great time we enjoyed having you tune in yes so guys stay tuned for our next wedding series it's gonna be very short and spicy i think i have another idea that i'll be diying so Thank you so much for watching our video again. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Help us get to 500 subscribers or a thousand. So I really hope this was good and that you will feel propelled or give me another word, inspired to do a DIY project and save you some money. Bye. Guys, I'm working on my special wedding invitation. Invitation in there with the sand and the seashells. I don't hit myself with the help of my boo. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. Ooh.